Hey, this is Alex, and I just finished my last semester of school, uh, ever, hopefully. Um, and so I, uh, I have a couple of videos coming up for different projects that I finished. Um, this video is about a uh, sort of deep reinforcement learning project um, where I made some games in Unity, and then I learned how to, um, you know, uh, make reinforce reinforcement learning algorithms, right? Algorithms that learn how to play the game. And so essentially, I have a uh, like a Unity game with a Unity server that sends frames back to a Python program, which is running whatever algorithm I'm using, right? Um, and all the algorithms are made in TensorFlow, and I'll be talking about it. All right, all right, so let's get started here. So basically, here I got a, uh, a scene that I'm showing off, and so um, every game that I designed, um, you know, has some kind of purpose and some kind of, uh, you know, way of scoring, right? And so this game, you can see a bunch of uh, green and red boxes, right? And so um, this game, there's a little car, and it has to run around and get all the green uh, circles, right? All the green spheres, and ignore the red boxes. Um, and so every time it hits a, gray, a green sphere, the score goes up by one. Every time it hits a uh, red uh, box or cube, it um, the score goes down by one. And the algorithm is supposed to learn how to identify these green spheres and avoid um, the uh, um, red uh, squares, right? Um, and so if he gets out of bounds, the game restarts, and that's basically it. So let's go see how this looks in practice. So here we go. On the left, you have the untrained, basically random um, algorithm. So for the first 50,000 frames, it uh, plays random moves, at which point the algorithm starts to learn. On the right, you have it after four million or so frames. Um, now you'll notice that it's actively seeking out uh, the green spheres, actively avoiding the red uh, squares, but not always. And um, when it hits the boundaries, it will turn away and come back um, as because it doesn't want to end the game, right? Um, now, this is using purely visual input um, to decide its movements. So for the big finale, I essentially got a uh, old project of mine where I had done virtual reality uh, controls for a virtual robot called a U-arm. So I had already made all the physics for it. I had made all the um, the hinges and the 3D model for it, as you can see here. And so this is a four-axis robot arm that's based on a real one sold by U-Factory called a U-arm. And uh, what I wanted to do was train the robot, uh, train the robot, or train an algorithm to uh, control the robot to automatically find these uh, green spheres and move uh, all those servos and all the hinges in the correct way such that the end effector touches the green sphere. So here's an example of the movements the robot can make, rotating the center axis, rotating uh, you know, the length axis, height axis, and here's me showing it uh, grabbing a green sphere under my control. Right, so here it is after training. Um, I did two runs of this, one with the camera angle completely overhead and another with the camera angle um, from the side, which I'll show you next. Uh, the resolution was very low because, um, you know, that's what the algorithm takes. And you'll notice that it actually does, you know, it did converge. It was able to get the green ball fairly often. This is sped up, by the way. So after doing that overhead run, I decided to change the camera angle a little bit to make it uh, easier to view what's going on. And so here's the U-arm sort of uh, after it learned maybe five million steps, I think, um, how to get the green ball. And so you can see that it is actually touching the green ball fairly often. And, uh, you know, it moves up towards it, moves down, grabs it. Perfect. Um, but it's not perfect. Uh, you're going to see that it, uh, it does actually glitch out here in the end. Um, but that's a physics issue on my end. All right. So that's the video results of this semester's uh, endeavors into deep Q learning. So if you want to know more, I have uh, in the description links to the source code and uh, links to the papers for the original DQN. And um, feel free to email me if you have any questions. I'm still learning about this field. I think my biggest takeaway is that right now, um, from the research that I did, we're not as far into self-playing, you know, reinforcement learning uh, as people think we are, and that there are other fields of machine learning that are um, uh, mo moving much quicker. But it seems like it's picking up pace, and hopefully uh, in a year or two, people will look back on this and think, oh, why wasn't he using this algorithm that works much better? Um, so yeah, that's it. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to see the upcoming projects that I'm going to be posting. Cheers.